we will look at the VGG uh, network uh, specifically the VGG 16. So, uh, VGG stands for the visual geometry group at Oxford University. So, this particular network was entered into the 2014 uh, ImageNet challenge. Okay. So, it had um, 16 weight layers, okay. 16 layers with this one we are looking at as 16 weight layers, they also had another uh, version which 19 VGG 19 at 19 weight layers. So, very this the design of this is very similar to Linet and AlexNet okay, except that they have made this a little bit more systematic. So, we will see what the systematicity is here. Um, so, we saw one of the in the earlier videos we saw that it is it is best that as we go deeper into the network we increase the size of the um, depth or the number of feature maps increases. So, it becomes wider network becomes wider. Okay. So, that that was incorporated here. They also stuck to one filter size 3 cross 3 this is the smallest filter size smallest meaningful filter size. So, 3 cross 3 gives you you can also do 1 cross 1 convolution, but of course, we need a receptive field. So, 3 cross 3 is the small they stuck to 3 cross 3 filter throughout the lay all the layers. There are a lot of parameters about 130 to 140 million parameters depending on which network you are looking at. Uh, once again we will just walk through the uh, network briefly and then we will see what are the advantages given by this network. So, if you see uh, the input again same 3, um, three channel RGB image size 224 cross 224. So, the first layer has 2 3 cross 3 convolutions in succession followed by a max pooling layer which reduces the size of the feature maps to 1 cross 112 cross 112 and each of these 3 cross 3 convolution layers had 64 feature maps followed by another set of convolutions and max pooling so on and so forth till we get to the uh, to these 3 2 layers which have again 3 cross 3 convolution, but this time 3 in succession 3 of them in succession if you see here uh, followed by again a max pooling. And here of course, these are uh, these are rasterized and made into a fully con connection fully connected uh, fully connected layers here these two and the output is a 1 of 10 1 of 1000 classification. Now, this has uh, if you look at this we will see that this this is a block ok this is one of the earliest networks to introduce this kind of concept we will see another network which most networks now use this. So, this is a block of convolutions. So, basically instead of uh, your layer is now being replaced by a, a, a bunch of convolutional layers ok, a sequence of layers is now used as one layer. So, in between these two convolutional layers there is no uh, max pooling, but the non-linearity is still there. So, 3 cross 3 non-linearity and then a 3 cross 3 non-linearity ok that is the sequence ok. In this case two, three successive non-linearities of um, or are applied following the convolutions. So, <coughs> what does this uh, provide in terms of an advantage. Um, so, if you look at a succession of 3 by 3 convolutions one is the non-linearity leads to gre greater discrimina discrimination ok. Seeing that we have looked at other uh, classifiers. So, if we have very non-linear features we expect that at some point the uh, classes become linearly separable that is, but then uh, how do we incorporate this here incorporate this here network is to have a succession of uh, non-linearities hopefully giving rise to better discriminatory power in the network. The second advantage is in terms of the receptive field ok. So, the authors also mentioned this that if you look at this particular uh, or we can just come here and look at this. So, for instance, if you look at these two 3 cross 3 convolutions, ok. Uh, so, this is one convolution layer with the 64 feature maps 3 cross 3 convolutions, again 64 3 cross 3 followed by another set of 64 3 cross 3 convolutions, ok. Now, if you look at the receptive field of this layer of this block, so the first one has a receptive field of 3 cross 3. Okay. So, that gives rise to 64 feature maps right. So, now if you look at the second if you look at the uh, this is the first one if you look at the second one ok. 
the filter kernel size is 3 cross 3 okay but the receptive field on the original image so we are looking at the receptive field of this particular layer on the input side okay so the receptive layer field for this one is 3 cross 3 and for the second it becomes 5 cross 5 it's not too hard to see because if you look at the uh, if you look at the second um, convolution the lay, the feature maps in the second convolution layer okay we have a 3 cross 3 okay so if you look at this particular if you look at this particular activation in the feature map then it is it itself is a result of a 3 cross 3 convolution so this itself is a result of a 3 cross 3 convolution right so you have 1 2 and a 3 here right so so this particular feature map in the second 3 cross 3 convolution layer itself is the uh, the output of a 3 cross 3 convolution from the previous layer so this is looking at 3 um, 1 2 let us say so then we, we see that all around we will have to add one more row and column okay so its its receptive field on the input is actually 5 cross 5 so similarly if you look at the uh, succession of three convolution layers so the third the the final receptive field for this part, the receptive field of this particular convolution layer would correspond to a 7 cross 7 you can verify that on your own so what does this uh, provide in terms of uh, you know computational gain that is what the authors claim or the authors claim that is what it uh, that is the computational gain you get from this is that if you want to do a, a, succession, of, a succession of 3 cross 3 convolutions 3 of them the number of computations involved to produce one element in the output feature map is much lesser when compared to if you just do a 7 cross 7 convolution okay so this is the and at the same time you have a larger receptive field on the input sometimes it is desirable in many cases it is desirable to have a larger receptive field uh, so that you get more of the context in the image into your activation maps but doing a much larger convolution using a much larger convolution means that the number of computations increase so one advantage of using a succession of 3 by 3 uh, filters convolutional layers instead of just using a filter with a larger receptive field is the savings in the number of parameters so for instance if you had used 7 cross 7 filters on uh, c channels then the number of parameters would be 49 c squares on the other hand if you had use if you would use a succession of 3 convolution layers to get the same receptive field with 3 by 3 filter sizes then the number of filter sizes would be 27 c square okay so this gives gives rise to this uh, decrease in the number of parameters actually uh, this might not be very obvious but you have to do the computation to figure out because if you if you have c input channels then the for so how do we get this number if you have c input channels then the size of each filter would be if you use a 3 cross 3 the number of elements in which each filter would be 3 cross 3 times c right and then if you have c output channels then we have one more c outside that is the total number of parameters okay then we have a section of 3 layers with 3 cross 3 filters so if 3 times that okay so this is how we calculate the number of parameters in uh, when we use a succession of 3 of course the similar calculations for 7 cross 7 okay so vgg net uh, by using the succession of uh, uh, convolution layers with very small filter sizes uh, but of course the number of parameters is much higher than the AlexNet but the results were much better it is about 7 percent in the top 5 uh, 7 percent uh, error rate in the top 5 which was uh, which is I, I, in fact that was not the winning it was not the winning entry but it won in other categories in the challenges localization etc but the uh, error rate was still pretty good for around 7 percent okay. 
So, the winning network was actually the inception network or the Google net uh, from Google, we will see much more about it uh, in the next videos.